Hey everyone, it's Pastor Dave from St. John in Woodbury, Minnesota. Thanks for taking out today's five minutes of hope. I pray that your week is off to a good start. Uh, we find ourselves uh, here only a, a few weeks away from the end of December, which means uh, we're only a few weeks away from the end of 2020, uh, which is crazy. Um, but we also find ourselves about 10 days away from Christmas. So uh, I pray that uh, this time of year is a blessing to you, that uh, uh, you're doing well and staying healthy and safe. Uh, but above all, as I say each, each time, uh, I pray that you are, uh, my biggest prayer for you is that you are indeed filled with peace, with joy, and with hope, uh, because you know exactly what Jesus has done for you. So, uh, as always, with this uh, devotion, I have a, a joke of the day about a farmer boy, uh, and then some uh, devotional thoughts on uh, Advent loneliness. So, first, our joke uh, is about a, a young boy, uh, the son of a farmer, and uh, he was uh, taking a wagon of corn. Uh, down the road and all of a sudden it uh, tipped over and, and fell over and uh, spilled the corn everywhere. And uh, one of the, the neighbors, one of the farmer neighbors, uh, saw what happened. It felt really bad for the boy. Uh, so he decided to uh, uh, invite him over for a quick meal to take his mind off of things. And, um, and the boy says, no, I don't think I can come over. I don't think Pa would like it very much if I came over. And the neighbor says, oh, your, your Pa will be fine. Uh, why don't you come over, take a break. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Uh, the boy says, well, okay, I guess that sounds good, but I really don't think my pa's going to be all that happy with me coming over. And again, the, the farmer neighbor uh, reassures him. Uh, so the boy goes over there. They serve him a wonderful meal. Uh, you know, I get him, Give him an opportunity to take his mind off of uh, the corn being tipped over. And, uh, so when, when finally they're done, uh, he's leaving and he thanks them again for the wonderful meal, for the wonderful time. But uh, again, he says, you know, I just, I really think my pa's going to be very mad at me that I came over and had dinner at your place. And uh, again, the neighbor says, no, your, your pa will be fine. Speaking of which, where is your pa anyway? And the boy replies, under the wagon. <laughs> there you go. Farmer joke. So <laughs> hopefully it made you laugh or smile or groan or, or whatever. Maybe just take your mind off of all that we're going through. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed it. So. Uh, so that's our joke of the day. So like I said, our devotional lesson for today are connected to Advent loneliness. And, and as I like to do, I like to share some thoughts from... Uh, again, my, uh, my personal favorite uh, uh, author for devotions and another uh, kind of a short spiritual uh, thoughts, uh, priest and author Henry Nouwen. And he wrote this as a meditation on the third Sunday of Advent, which is only a couple of days ago. So let me share with you uh, what he wrote uh, for this. I got to read off my phone. My computer is not connecting to the internet right now. So the phone it is. Uh, so he writes, but Advent is not only a period of joy, it is also a time when those who are lonely feel lonelier than during other periods of the year. During this time, many people try to commit suicide or are hospitalized with severe depression. Those who have hope feel much joy and desire to give. Those who have no hope feel more depressed than ever and are often thrown back on their lonely selves in despair. Surrounded by a loving, supportive community, Advent and Christmas seem pure joy. But let me not forget my lonely moments because it does not take much to make that loneliness reappear. When Jesus was loneliest, he gave most. That realization should help us to deepen, or should help to deepen my commitment to service and let my desire to give become independent of my actual experience of joy. Only a deepening of my life in Christ will make that possible. And again, this might be something that you uh, have experienced in the past, maybe you're experiencing right now. Uh, obviously, you compound the pandemic and the restrictions with that. Uh, along with maybe the usual um, holiday blues. Uh, sometimes uh, people get that when you have these holiday uh, seasons um, where there's uh, so much festivity and joy, no at least normally, um, that there is for some people a, a very real struggle, that this actually is a time that draws them uh, more into depression, into loneliness, and into anxiety, into despair. Uh, and, and I love, again, what what now one says here is that again this is a reality but this is a time where we can fix our eyes upon christ and use him as an example where again he says that when christ was the loneliness when he experienced that loneliness it was during those moments that he served and loved others but i love what what now one says again as he ends us he says this isn't a, a matter of willpower and again this is one thing i'm you know, talking to people that when you simply tell them, hey, you should feel better about your life, that you should just buck up, it just makes them feel worse. It doesn't help anything. So again, this isn't about willpower. This is about you know me telling you, if you are experiencing very real depression or anxiety 
uh, or darkness, especially during this holiday season. It's not about just telling you that you need to uh, work your own way out of it. It's reminding you uh, that Christ is there to help you with that. Uh, that the more we're connected to Christ, the more we're connected to his love, uh, the more we can be drawn out of that darkness, out of that loneliness, into lives of joy, into lives of service towards others, into lives of being like Christ. So may God bless you, especially if you're really struggling this time of year, especially with COVID on top of everything. Uh, so uh, my prayer for you is that, again, you would fix your eyes upon Christ, that he would guide you out of the darkness, out of that depression, out of that despair, and remind you of the life that he has given to you, that life uh, that is with him forever, the life uh, that we have because he was born for us, he lived for us, he died for us, and he rose for us. So God bless you, and may he bless you in a very special way uh, during this Advent season.